Dementia Friendly America has to be for everyone who is touched by dementia or who may in the future be touched by dementia. Any community that makes itself any dementia friendlier than it is today is a stronger community in every way, whether the particular project is in the banking sector or the faith sector or the hospital sector, the community grows stronger, whichever of those or any others that you might choose. Since I've been diagnosed, my, my whole focus has been trying to, to educate, advocate, and, and help uh, bring awareness to the disease. This disease takes away from us what we did as a profession. So we have to redefine who we are. And it gives us an opportunity, really, to, to say, who do I want to be? It is not a failing of character. It is not a weakness. Uh, it is a disease, much like cancer, much like polio. It's a disease. Uh, and so we must disentangle this notion uh, that dementia is a natural part of the aging process or that it's something to be ashamed of. Make the public aware of it. We bring it out of the closet, so to speak, and get it out there in front of the public. Somebody has to do it. The Alzheimer's and dementia numbers are shocking and staggering. I mean, many people may not realize that today in this country, over 5.4 million people are affected by this horrific disease. And that number is projected to triple by 2050 to over 13 million people. Dementia is what we would think of as a family condition or disease in that it impacts individuals in their day-to-day -day living. Uh, and their functionality because of cognitive and other issues. And as a result of the loss of cognitive function that usually comes with it, their families are impacted because it requires a day-to-day -day support that can sometimes be 24-7. There is no question that there is a stigma associated with dementia. Um, and I think a real fear, which I think they feed into each other. Um, and it really means that the life of somebody with dementia is, is difficult. They become very isolated. Uh, they become invisible. This challenge of increasing awareness, but at the same time you have people who are living with disease who want to be normalized. So I think it's sort of this balance that has to continue to happen, but at the same time um, normalize it so people can live well in their communities and incorporate the disease into their lives. Even though I may be the one with it, with it, we're both going through it, my wife and I. She is just as deeply involved in it. She's not dealing with the pathological effects of it in her own life, but she's having to deal with it in mind. The end product of Dementia Friendly America is to set up an America where people are aware of the concerns, cares, and process that people with disease and caregivers go through, and how can they respond to make that a more livable situation for both. It's my hope that with through Dementia Friendly America that people will walk towards people with dementia and see how they can ensure that they are part of the community um, rather than walking away and making them feel isolated. Every sector of community steps up and does its unique part in making sure that those who are living with dementia in community can, t can continue to access community services and supports. That means local businesses, grocery store chains, the dentist, the bank, the drugstore, everyone is prepared to interact effectively with people living with dementia and to support them in their day-to-day -day living rather than to hinder them because they're not sure what to do. You can reach out and begin to talk to others, your neighbors, you can talk to your club members, your church members. Begin it yourself inside of your community and it begins to take shape. You give the shape to it. You initiate the action and then it happens. It's just a matter of getting this information out to people, providing the technical support they need to really implement and then support them as they implement in their communities. If they have more places to turn, if they have more people in the community that understand it, then we'll break the stigma. So all this is a means to give people the knowledge and the tools to do what they're naturally desiring to do, which is to help one another. If we can be part of moving things forward, where ignorance is no longer there, research is there, progress is being made on the treatment front, then maybe I can keep people from having to face the devastation that I did 
when I was dying. But imagine the difference it makes in the lives of even one individual, but I suspect many, many more individuals, if you do one thing and do it really well. What a world of difference that would make in the daily lives of people with dementia, caregivers, tourists, and anyone else in that community. No judgments, no preconceived notions, no fear, no resentment, no pause, just help. Thank you.